Hi, I'm Richard from Drive Green and today we're at Fully Charged Live. It's a beautiful summer's day and I'm going to take us for a walk around and show you some of my highlights of the show. Well, here we are on the Nissan stand where they're exhibiting the Aria for the very, very first time. Obviously, the Nissan Leaf has been a giant within the marketplace right from the very beginning. So it's nice to finally see them do something that's actually a little bit of a departure. As we have a look around, really, really nice looking car. It's got a great interior. Size-wise, it kind of hits that sort of crossover SUV sort of styling. The boot's big, like it always was in the Leaf. You've got a much more modern interior, but also the tech in it overall has had quite an upgrade. You're looking at bigger battery sizes, going up to 90 kilowatts, so you've got a much bigger range, much faster acceleration and performance. It is the Nissan Leaf Plus, I think, and it's going to be very, very exciting to see this car when it's actually finally launched. This is a really important section, really good to see. It's a whole commercial electric van section. It shows me the commitment these manufacturers are making towards moving delivery vehicles across to electric. Uh, you've got DPD, who've obviously made a, a major commitment to move all their vehicles over to electric very, very soon. And you've also got vans from the likes of Ford and Fiat and Mercedes all here on show. So all this focus here on electric vans just goes to show we're on the right path in all sectors of transport. Obviously delivery driving, very important, local routes, perfect for electric vans, and it's great to see the show of force from the manufacturers as well as from the companies in terms of adopting them. I worked for Corgi, which is a guest safety watchdog. It's not necessarily the most glamorous thing, and I went to work there in 2003, and the boiler is not the most interesting piece of kit ever, so I quite quickly gravitated towards heat pumps and, and solar thermal and things like that. And, and then I, I left there actually and set up my own business, which was called the Renewables Roadshow. Robert Llewellyn, who, who started Fully Charged, has been doing this for 11 years now. And you could see from our event today, there's a you know, huge amount of people have been here today and over the weekend are really passionate about these technologies. And quite often come up to me and say, I've got my heat pump, I've got my electric car, I've got a smart thermostat, I've switched energy supplier. So some really keen beans. And then there's other people who are just starting their journey who have a lot of questions. This section's really interesting. Um, it's classic car conversions, turning them to electric vehicles. And there's loads. It surprised me how many are actually here. And I don't know what you think about it. Uh, obviously, converting these cars to electric cars will give them a second life, uh, will make them live a lot longer. But somehow these are classic cars, so in a way maybe it's taken away some of their original essence, some of the kind of the elegance and their manufacturing and engineering, taking those engines away. So yeah, I don't know what you think. Personally, I think it's great. These cars all look fantastic, and the fact they can now live on as an electric car uh, and be even more enjoyable to drive and even more practical on a daily basis, I think is brilliant. Here we are on the Tesla Rona Club stand. What I'm really excited about is they've given us permission to have a nice close look at the Tesla Model Y. First time I've seen this car in person, uh, and it's like I'd expect. We know it's gonna be a very important, high-selling EV. So I think where this car's gonna be particularly successful is now moving closer over into the sort of family market. It's very much a Model 3 in size. You've got the same controls, the same design the same lovely big media console, just the seating position's a little bit higher in a kind of a almost crossover SUV fashion, which I know a lot of people will like. Still on the Tesla Owner Club stand, something else has really caught my eye, and it's this Model S. I've always been a fan of the Model S, and it's always amazed me how such a, a supreme luxury car, it looks so good customized, but this car is stunning. It's absolutely outrageous very, very white, you've got these lovely cushions in there, the detailing on the alloys. I think it looks quite spectacular. I have had a Tesla Model 3 for two years now. Before that, I had a BMW i3, and before that, I had a Hyundai Kona as well, and they were all fantastic. The Model 3, though, I hate to be a cliche, but it is the best car I've, I've ever owned. You do kind of get in that pattern, well, maybe every two, three, four years, you might change car, and I think we all need to change that thinking, to be honest, but you do start thinking, well, I've had the Tesla Model 3, you know, what, what would my next car be? And I'm really loath to let the Model 3 go, but there's some brilliant cars now. There's a, such a great choice. But if I had to, it's a personal choice, of course, I'm not being paid to say this. The one I'm really interested in is the Kia EV6. I think that's a great, great looking car. 
here we are at the Kia stand. I've been a big fan of the Korean manufacturers in Kia in particular. Uh, I was really pleased to see their early investment in EVs being very much rewarded. Now the EV6 is a fantastic looking car. I really, really like this. Um, it's a, a Model 3 competitor for sure in terms of size, 300 miles must range, really great looks. I'd go as far as to say, actually, I think it's a better looking car than the Ionic 5. So not only does this car look stunning from the outside, this is a stunning looking interior. Very, very nice and modern. I love this kind of dual screen all as one. It's got a heads up display. The buttons are all nice. This is a really good car. Well, we've had a really good time at the Fully Charged show today. If you haven't been before and you're interested in EVs and green technology, I urge you to go when the show's back on in April. Um, thanks ever so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Thanks.